welcome to Light Up Yoga and to our Yoga for Golfers class. This session has been specifically designed to help improve golfers' performance, focus and recovery. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin in a comfortable seated position to start. Only crossing the legs if that feels good on the knees. If it doesn't, you're absolutely fine to just outstretch the legs in front of the body. So we do want a nice tall spine though. So we'll really reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and feel the chest nice and open. So our golf swing really requires flexibility and mobility in the spine and in the hips. So we're gonna start there today. Let's take an inhale, lift and lengthen through the crown of the head. And as we exhale, we're gonna turn the head over the right shoulder. So just as if we're trying to look as far beyond that right shoulder as we can. And then we're gonna move this into a full spinal twist. So we'll bring that right hand round behind the back, up onto the fingertips for support, and send the left hand onto the back of the uh, right thigh. We'll work with the breath here. So can we inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. And exhale, twist and turn. So we feel a whole spine moving through this twist. Let's inhale, grow. And exhale, twist. One more breath. Inhale, open. And exhale, twist. Next, exhale, release. Come all the way back to center, back into that initial seated pose. We'll inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, and then exhale, turn the head as far over the left shoulder as it'll comfortably go. So it's just the, the neck, the cervical spine that's moving here. And then we take it to thoracic and lumbar, so we work the whole spine. Right hand comes outside of the left leg, left hand behind the back for support. Inhale, press through the left fingertips, lift and open. And exhale, twist and turn. Another couple of breaths if you can. Inhale, imagine a piece of string on the crown of the head and you're being lifted up into the sky. Exhale, twist and turn. One more breath, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Exhale to release, come all the way back through center. Okay, back into the middle. We're gonna inhale, reach, draw the arms up and into the air, and then give the wrists a stretch off. So we want nice mobile wrists as well for our goal. Twirl on the hands a couple of times, one direction, then mixing it up. And then we're gonna bring our hands down onto the mat and move into tabletop position. So basically, we're on all fours. Shoulders, elbows and wrists stacked. Knees underneath the hips. Toes flat to the floor. Press down through the hands. Push down through the knees. Push down through the toes here. As we inhale, we're gonna pull the heart forward. Lift the hips. And lift the eye gaze up into our cow stretch. See the shoulders, watch they're not scrunching up to the ears. Pull them back down and away. As we exhale, we'll move from cow stretch to cat. Bring the navel in towards the spine, push through the hands, push through the knees, push through the toes, and as you round the back off, drop the head. Let's go through a couple of rounds, moving between cow and cat. If you can, match the movement of the body with the breath, but don't worry if that becomes a little bit too confusing, just focus on the body. Inhale, press up. Exhale. And back. Once more. Inhale, lift and open. And exhale, push back and away. Okay, next inhale, coming into a neutral spine position. We're going to keep our right hand on the floor and inhale the left arm up into the sky. Then as we exhale, we're going to send the left hand Send it through the gap, so behind the right wrist, and gently draw that left ear onto the mat. So reaching the left arm forward. So this is a really nice shoulder stretch, shoulder opener. Just check in with how you're feeling here. So if you need the support, really keep pushing into that right hand. 
If you want to go a little deeper, release the right hand and extend the arm up and into the air. So we want to be feeling this in and around the shoulder. If there's any strain or pain or discomfort in the head or the neck, it's important that you keep that right hand on the floor just to take some of the weight off. If you're still good here and you want more, drop the right hand round behind the back and send it over towards the left hip or thigh and see if you can anchor that right shoulder back and the left arm forward until eventually maybe, and you might not get there today, but the aim is that the shoulders are stacked one on top of the other. Hold three. Focusing on the breath helps to focus the mind. Hold two. Arm one, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, the right hand comes back down. Press through the right palm and unthread the left arm all the way back into the air. Just draw that left arm back and then exhale the left hand down back into our tabletop. Let's go the other side. Push through the left hand, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread the right hand underneath the left and bring the right ear towards the mat. See how you're feeling in the head, see how you're feeling in the neck. Either keep pushing into that left hand or reach the arm up into the sky. If you want more again, drop the hand, the left hand around behind the back, send it to the right hip or thigh and rotate. Left shoulder pulling back this time, right shoulder extending through. Breath slow and deep. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Helps to cleanse the air as it enters the body. And breathing deep in and out of the belly. Okay, nice. Let's release. Inhale. Left arm up. Exhale, left hand comes down back underneath the shoulder. Press through the left hand. Unthread the right arm all the way into the sky. Open. And exhale, right hand down. Let's just take a little break here. We'll pop the hips back to the heels, allow the belly and the chest to rest down over the thighs and take the forehead to the floor. Breathing slow and deeply through the nose and through the belly so that on an inhale, the belly expands with the breath like a balloon as it inflates. And on an exhale, the belly relaxes like a balloon as it deflates. And this is kind of the regular, usual, type of breathing pranayama that we take through our yoga class but it's also um, a method that's applicable not only in the studio or on the map but also in everyday life and maybe especially can be beneficial through golf so as well as practice and skill golf requires a lot of mental focus calmness concentration and our breath can really be key to that a way of just tuning into the central nervous system's mode of rest and relaxation is through the breath. Inhale and exhale slowly and deeply. And that allows our nervous system to just find a little more balance, a little more calm. Okay, let's start to work into the hips. So we'll inhale, lift up from child's pose, back onto all fours, back into our tabletop. We're going to press through the hands and inhale, lift the right leg up. Maybe just loosen out that ankle, twirling it a couple of times in both directions. Gaze to the outside of the right hand. Inhale. Now as you exhale, we're going to bring that foot and step it across. Don't worry if the foot doesn't end up where you need it to be. Use the hand to guide it into place. We want the knee and ankle stacked. Now the left toes, we're going to tuck under and walk that left leg back. You'll start to feel as you walk the leg further away that the quad and the hip flexor on that left side start to open and stretch. Then maybe if you can release the back toes flat to the floor and we come into our lizard pose here so a nice deep hip opener. Allow the chin to drop towards the chest, the head to relax towards the floor. Some of you might be a little bit more open naturally and want to go deeper. If you do, you can take your forearms all the way to the floor. And let's hang and breathe. So just allowing as much softness through the body as we can. 
Maybe you could even roll the weight onto the outer edge of that right foot so the knee drops to the side. If that feels good, you could even use the hand to just draw that knee away. Only if it feels nice. Different options for different bodies and you want to stay connected to yours and just moving away. That feels helpful to you today and that might change tomorrow. It might change week by week. So we always listen to how we feel and let our body be our guide. Okay, nice and slowly. If you're on the forearms, come back onto the palms. So we're back here, both hands on the inside of the right foot. Left hand stays rooted. Inhale, right arm up, spinal twist. And as we exhale, can we bring the right hand down and place it outside of the right foot? Just wiggling that right leg a little bit more in line with the hip. Now let's inhale and as we exhale here, we're going to press back to stretch into the hamstrings on that right side. So we push the hips away, can we flex the toes and towards the shin? And don't worry about if this leg looks straight or if it looks bent. That doesn't matter, what matters is how this feels to you. And if you want to feel it more, pull the toes in deep to the shin. Extend the crown of the head further to the top of the mat. If you're tight and you want to feel it less, relax the ankle and just melt into the pose a little bit more. Okay, nice. Now can we inhale, bring the right knee back to stack in line with the ankle there. Tuck the left toes under and lift up the left knee. Push that heel back nice and strong. Press through the feet and inhale the arms all the way up and into the air. Strong legs. Hands come into prayer. We're going to inhale, lengthen the body. Now as we exhale, can we bring that left arm to the outside of the right thigh? And we rotate. Left shoulder pulling through, right shoulder pulling back. Both legs active and strong. Hold and breathe. So this is mobility for our spine, hopefully helping with our swing. Keep that eye gaze focus. Keep the breath and the energy flowing for another three. Hold, two, and one, release. Inhale, power the arms up, and exhale, ground the hands down. Bring the left knee to the floor. Push through the hands, send the right leg back to tabletop, and go for child's pose. And you breathe here. In and out through the nose. In and out through the belly. Inhale, roll it up. Into tabletop. Take another couple of breaths, finding your alignment, finding your strength, zipping in the belly button towards the spine for core strength. Extending the heart upwards between the shoulder blades. And we'll lift up the left leg, tiger pose. You want to twirl that ankle out, just get the ankle mobilized, feel free. You want to stretch out all of our legs, ankles, feet, toes. We'll gaze now to the outside of the left hand, inhale and exhale. Step that left foot into position, help it into place if it needs a hand. Right toes tuck under, right leg walks back and away. Straight line with that right leg, just have a little check maybe, it's not going off to the side. If possible, back toes flat. I'm just going to scoop forward a little. Okay, so check in with how you're feeling here. Relax the head, chin to chest, head down towards the floor. Melting into this pose. Options, stay on the palms or drop to the forearms. You might like to roll the weight onto the outside of that left foot. You might want to use the left hand to help you open a little deeper. It just depends on what you want your focus to be today and where you want it to be. Hang on in. We've got another good three slow deep breaths if we can. Each exhale it's as if we're dropping deeper and deeper into the mat, into the floor. Another two. 
in round one. If you're on the outer edge of the left foot, bring the sole back down. Hands come inside of the foot, so starting point for lizard. Right hand stays grounded. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand down, outside of the left foot. Scoot that left leg back. Lunge splits. Inhale, let's get into that hamstring. Exhale, open the leg. So what feels right here? Do you want to flex the toes or is that a bit much? If it's not a bit much and you want more, call the fingers forward. Extend the crown of the head to the top of the mat. Keep breathing. Two. Arm one. Inhale. Bring in the knee. Stack it back in line with the ankle. Now can we tuck the right toes under, lift the right leg up, push the right heel back and pressing through the soles of the feet. Inhale, the arms up and into the air. So strong, active pose here. Take the hands to prayer. Inhale, reach arms up and exhale, twist, sending that right arm outside of the left leg. So we want to rotate now the left shoulder back, the right shoulder pulls forward. Bring the hands in prayer towards the heart center. Hold three. Strength and balance here. Holding two, doing really well. And one, let's release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, ground the hands down. Bring the right knee to the floor. And send the left leg back into tabletop. Push the hips towards the heels and breathe. Back to that focus and breath. In and out through the nose. In and out through the belly. So we're going to come up to standing. We'll inhale, slowly flow up. Inhale into tabletop position. And then tuck the toes. And exhale into down dog. So we lift the hips high towards the sky. Extend the heels towards the mat. And give the head a shake off. See the shoulders, can we pull them back and away from the ears? So you just walk the dog as you pedal the heels up and down. Just loosening the hamstrings even more. And start to walk your dog forward. So step by step, bring the feet in towards the hands. And we walk ourselves all the way to a forward forward position. You want to be able to touch the mat here, so really sink into the knees as much as you need to get the fingertips to the floor. Relax the upper body. Then we're going to inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to walk the hands over towards the right, so that we get a nice stretch along that left side of the body. Head stays relaxed, chin stays tucked towards the chest. Inhale through the middle. Exhale, walk the hands towards the left. And then when you're ready, inhale to the middle. Slide the hands up on top of the shins and bring the head to round about hip height. Let the blood pressure regulate here, kneecaps engaged. Take your time before coming the rest of the way up. Pushing through the soles. Inhale the arms into the sky. Hands into prayer. And we'll exhale the hands all the way down. Past our hearts. Into mountain pose. So this next position I've brought into this yoga for golfers class. Because it's really good for building our focus, our concentration and our, and our balance. It's important that we keep the breath flowing through the pose. That way we remain in the parasympathetic nervous system, so our nervous system is calmed, but also we're continuing to draw oxygen and energy into the body as we hold the pose. So it keeps our muscles nice and uh, full of nutrients. Okay, so right leg, standing leg. Really ground through the sole of that right foot. Feel it rooting down into the floor. Thigh nice and strong. Core zipped in, navel to spine. Chest open, spine long. Pick a focal point, so look at something just in front of you on the floor. It might be, it depends on where you are, looking at a tile, a carpet, a rug, just something that you can find, a little tiny point that you can focus the eye gaze on, rest it there. 
something that's going to be still, that helps keep the mind still through the pose. Then we'll bring our hands onto our hips, shift the weight onto the right leg, and bring the left foot into place for tree pose. So it may be inner ankle, you may go inner calf, avoid the knee, but you could, if you want, go a little higher, bringing the foot into the inside of that right thigh. Eyes on your drishti. If you want to, a little bit more of a challenge, release the hands from the hips and send them into prayer at the heart center. If you want more, release the arms all the way up and into the sky, biceps by the ears, and spread the arms wide. So you're a tree, your arms are the branches, reach into the sun. Roots from the sole of the foot grow deep into the floor. Inhale. Now it's a windy day in our forest. As we exhale, we're going to move the arms gently towards the left. Doesn't matter if you wobble, we're testing our balance. Inhale to center, exhale, the wind blows us over to the right. Inhale to center, nice and strong, the wind dies, we're still, we're strong, and we exhale the hands back into prayer, all the way through the heart center. Back onto the hips, release the left leg out and down, a little shake off. Gearing up to move onto the other side. Left foot planted into the floor. Right foot in place. Options, ankle, calf, avoid the knee. We never want to press into the kneecap. We can go higher or lower than it. Eye gaze fixed. Where's our drishti, our focal point? Breath flowing. It's really easy because we've got that much to think about. It's easy to forget to breathe. Keep that breath moving, that calmness that stillness through the mind, transfer it to the body. Hands in prayer, maybe. And if you want to grow your tree, reach the arms all the way into the sky. Branches extend, fingers draw up to the sun. And maybe we can move into a bit of a wind Below, as we draw the arms to the right, do we sway? And then inhale to the middle, exhale, the wind sways us to the left. Eye gaze fixed. Inhale, wind drops, strength, stability, and stillness. Exhale, hands to prayer. Prayer all the way down, past our heart. Hands to the hips and release that right leg all the way down onto the floor. Shake it off. So we're going to come down onto the mat. Last couple of poses. And these ones are focused again on spinal mobility through a couple of twists. So our feet are hip distance apart, the knees are bent, and just bring the spine all the way down onto the floor. Now we'll straighten the right leg out and we'll bring the left knee in towards the body. And then we're gonna take the right hand on top of the left knee. So let the left arm float out to the side, about shoulder height, palm rotating upwards. Inhale here, and as you exhale, use the right hand to guide the left knee over towards the right side. And see this uh, left shoulder? If it started to pick up off the floor like mine has now, Try and ground it back into the mat so that we stay nice and secure to the floor. Maybe we can also turn our head to look over to that left thumb. And hang in and breathe here. Just allowing gravity to really do the hard work for us with this one. couple of breaths, just allowing ourselves to melt into this. Inhale, bringing the knee back in towards the body, give it a squeeze. Let's change sides, left leg flat, right knee in. 
Left hand on top of the right leg, right arm out to the side. Keep that right shoulder grounded, inhale and exhale, guide the knee over towards the left. Head turns to the right and relax. and slowly bring up the right knee and then the left knee as well so we've got both knees in towards the body give yourself a big squeeze gently rock from side to side and can we rock up and down and rock up on three into a seated position you can use the hands if you need to for one two and three okay so we're back seated but we're going to move our feet into a cobbler's shape so that means the soles of the feet are joined together and the knees are out to the side. This is another one that just works into our hips. So we'll grab the hands around the soles of the feet. Just let the knees float down towards the floor. Inhale here, lengthen. And as we exhale, we'll draw the head forward. Bring the chin towards the chest. And take, send the head towards the, the toes. And breathe. This is one of those poses that the more we can relax into it, the more benefits we'll feel, the deeper we'll go. And the breath is key. Maybe you could even give the head a little shake out softly and gently side to side. The repetitive movements through golf in the shoulders and the spine can cause a bit of tension and tightness. So. This is one of those postures that's hopefully going to allow some of that tension to melt, to drain away from the body. Slowly lift all the way back up, nice and tall with the spine. And we'll move the legs into cross-legged or outstretched if the knees are feeling like they need a little rest. So before we finish, we're just going to work into the upper back and the shoulders one more pose. Inhale to reach, draw the arms up and into the air. Now we're going to send this right hand underneath the left arm. Options for our eagle stretch through the arms. We can go hands on shoulders. We can go back to the hands like this together. Or if you can reach, bring the palms of the hands together. Okay, now inhale, elbows lift upwards. Exhale, draw the forearms forward. Drop the chin to the chest. We go another breath, inhale, lift up the elbows. Feel that right across the bands of the upper back and shoulder blades. Exhale, bring the forearms to me. Maybe again, drop the chin a little closer to the chest and hold and breathe here. Hold three. Two. One, exhale, release the arms. Inhale, draw them up. Other side, left hand. Swing it underneath the right. Options, shoulders, backs of hands, palms of hands together. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, forearms forward. Another breath and then we hold, drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, elbows lift. Exhale, forearms forward. Hold and breathe, drop the chin. Keep the spine tall for three. Keep reaching the arms forward, two. Nice work, one, exhale to release. Inhale to draw the arms all the way up and into the sky. Hands come into prayer and we're gonna exhale the hands all the way to the heart. Namaste. So thanks for tuning in and watching, participating in today's practice. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that it helps to improve your golf game. Uh, if you did enjoy the video and you want to stay up to date with our latest content, please hit the subscribe button below. Thanks again and see you soon.